I describe it as like living in a, the fanciest hotel. You have your elevator that takes you up to your room. Spending on houses and mansions isn't just a man's game. Some of the richest black women in the world have amassed significant wealth and aren't shy about spending millions on luxurious properties. These women hail from various sectors, including modeling, finance, sports, and the oil and gas industry, among others. One thing they all have in common is their impeccable taste in real estate. Join us in this video as we explore the luxurious homes of the richest black women. Number nine, Beyonce. Nicknamed Queen Bey, Beyonce is considered a significant cultural icon of the 21st century. Her real estate journey started with more modest investments, primarily aimed at securing comfortable and private homes for herself and her family. As her career grew, so did the scale and luxury of her properties. One of her first major purchases was a home in Houston, Texas, where she grew up. This property provided a retreat for her family and a base in her hometown. As a child, Beyonce started performing in various singing and dancing competitions. She rose to fame in the late 1990s as a member of the R&B girl group, Destiny's Child, one of the best-selling girl groups of all time. She is the only woman in history to achieve at least 20 top 10 songs as a solo artist and 10 as a member of a group. Beyonce's real estate journey is a reflection of her incredible success as a global superstar, as well as her keen eye for luxury and investment opportunities. Over the years, she has acquired and sold several high-profile properties, often alongside her husband, Jay-Z. In 2005, she purchased a stunning condo in Midtown Manhattan for $5 million. Beyonce used this three-bedroom apartment primarily as a place for friends and family to stay. However, she eventually sold the 44th floor corner unit for $9.95 million million in 2017. That same year, Beyonce and Jay-Z made headlines with their purchase of a sprawling estate in Bel Air, Los Angeles. This property, valued at $88 million, is a true symbol of their success. The mansion features multiple buildings, state-of-the-art amenities, and expansive outdoor spaces, including a basketball court, swimming pools, and a recording studio. The estate is a fortress of privacy and luxury, designed to meet the needs of their family. Also, personally, Jay-Z purchased a good-looking penthouse in Tribeca in 2004 for $6.85 million. The seventh unit located in a converted 1929 brick warehouse building spanned an impressive 8,000 square feet with an additional 3,000 square feet of outdoor terraces. This particular penthouse was used for their private wedding pictures as their relationship blossomed. In addition to their urban properties, Beyonce and Jay-Z also invested in a luxurious estate in the Hamptons. This property, known as Pond House, is a serene retreat that offers a contrast to their busy city life. Pond House is situated in the Hamptons, a neighborhood well known for its affluent residents, isolated beaches, and upscale real estate. The mansion is located in the East Hampton neighborhood, which is renowned for its seclusion and gorgeous scenery. The estate is situated on about two acres of beautiful grounds. With almost 12,000 square feet of living space, the main home has plenty of space for opulent living. The estate includes access to Georgica Pond, a private body of water, adding to the serene and exclusive atmosphere of the property. The property features expansive outdoor living spaces, including a large deck, swimming pool, and outdoor dining area. These spaces are designed for relaxation and entertainment, with views of the surrounding nature. Beyonce and Jay-Z purchased Pond House in 2017 for an estimated $25.925 million. The high cost reflects the estate's location in the prestigious Hamptons area, as well as its size, privacy, and luxury. In addition to the portfolios in the world of real estate in 2008, the couple also snapped up a property in Miami on the exclusive Indian Creek Island. This exclusive private island in Miami is home to some of the wealthiest and most influential people in the world. The island is known for its high security, privacy, and expansive waterfront properties. 
The house itself spans approximately 30,000 square feet of living space, offering multiple rooms for living, entertainment, and relaxation. The home includes several bedrooms and bathrooms, along with large living areas, a state-of-the-art kitchen, and various entertainment spaces. It was said that they paid about $9 million for the property, but sold it for $9.3 million in 2010. In 2017, they also got another property in Bel Air, Los Angeles. This property, one of the most luxurious in their real estate portfolio, is renowned for its grandeur, modern design, and the high level of privacy it provides. The mansion itself offers around 30,000 square feet of living space, making it one of the largest and most opulent homes in the area. The mansion includes eight bedrooms and 11 bathrooms, along with expansive living areas, a state-of-the-art kitchen, and multiple entertainment spaces. The estate includes a wellness center with a spa, complete with a sauna, steam room, and massage facilities, providing a private retreat for relaxation and rejuvenation. In addition to the main infinity pool, the property boasts three other swimming pools, offering various options for leisure and exercise. Beyonce and Jay-Z purchased the Bel Air mansion in 2017 for approximately $88 million. The high cost reflects the mansion's size, location, and the extensive amenities it offers. Number eight, Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama, the former First Lady of the United States, served in this role from 2009 to 2017 alongside her husband, Barack Obama, the 44th president. She holds the distinction of being the first African-American woman to serve as First Lady. During her tenure, Michelle was a strong advocate for causes such as poverty awareness, education, nutrition, physical activity, and healthy eating. After completing law school, she began her career as an associate at Sidley and Austin in Chicago, where she met her future husband, Barack Obama. At the firm, she worked on marketing and intellectual property law. As of 2024, Michelle Obama's net worth is estimated to be around $70 million. Michelle and Barack Obama own a mansion in the Calorama neighborhood of Washington, D.C., which they purchased in 2017 after leaving the White House. The Calorama neighborhood is renowned for its historic homes, privacy, and affluent residents, attracting diplomats, politicians, and other prominent figures. The Obamas purchased a mansion in this area for around $8.1 million. In addition, they acquired another property in the Edgartown area of Martha's Vineyard, which cost approximately $15 million. The property spans approximately 29 acres with a great inbuilt furnishing of a private beach access, a large pool, and a spa. Also, there is a gourmet kitchen and multiple living and dining areas. The design likely emphasizes a seamless transition between indoor and outdoor spaces, with sliding glass doors or large windows leading to patios, decks, or terraces. Also note that the interior design is probably personalized with artwork, unique furnishings, and decor that reflect the Obama family's tastes and interests. This might include items collected during their travels or pieces that hold personal significance. The Obamas were not strangers to the vineyard when they chose to buy there. They vacationed on the island seven out of the eight years Barack was in office, enjoying time at the exclusive Blue Heron Farm in Chilmark Pond. While almost $12 million may seem like a high price to pay for a vacation home, it seems the Obamas actually got a good deal on the mansion. When the previous owner, Wycliffe Grousebeck, owner of the Boston Celtics, first listed the estate in 2015, he set the price at a whopping $22.5 million. However, Grousebeck later cut the price to $16,250,000 and finally sold it to the Obamas in 2019 for just $11.75 million. Number seven. Rihanna. Rihanna is a Barbadian singer, businesswoman, and actress based in the United States. She was cited as the best-selling female recording artist of the 21st century by Guinness World Records and is the wealthiest female musical artist with an estimated net worth of $1.4 billion as of 2024. She owns a $14 million penthouse in New York City and a $22 million mansion in Barbados. In 2009, Rihanna made headlines with her significant real estate purchase in Beverly Hills. 
The property is situated in one of the most exclusive and sought-after areas of Los Angeles, known for its luxury homes and celebrity residents. This property, which is about $6.9 million, boasts a classic Mediterranean-style design with elegant arches, a tiled roof, and extensive use of natural stone and wood. The design combines opulence with a warm, inviting atmosphere. The property includes beautifully landscaped gardens, a large swimming pool, and outdoor entertaining areas. The expansive grounds offer privacy and stunning views of the surrounding landscape. She also rented a property in Pacific Palisades Mansion, which was for $65,000 a month. The mansion features a contemporary design with sleek lines and modern materials. It typically includes large windows to maximize natural light and provide panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean. The property likely includes a beautiful outdoor area with a private pool, expansive terraces, and well-maintained gardens. These features are ideal for entertaining guests and enjoying the pleasant Southern California climate. Number six, Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett Smith is a well-known American actress, singer, and businesswoman. Recognized for her roles in numerous films and television shows, as well as her marriage to actor Will Smith, she was born on September 18, 1971, in Baltimore, Maryland. Named after her mother's favorite soap opera star, Jada Rowland, Jada Corin Pinkett has a rich heritage. With Jamaican and Bajan roots on her mother's side, and African-American ancestry on her father's side. Her interest in acting was sparked by an unexpected encounter with Josh Charles during elementary school. She then participated in To Work in Gaining Skills, TWIGS, a highly competitive free after-school program offered by the Baltimore School for the Arts for Baltimore City Children in grades two through eight. Admission to TWIGS is challenging, with only a few hundred students accepted each year after auditions. The program often serves as a stepping stone for further arts education, with approximately 50% of the incoming class at the Baltimore School for the Arts, consisting of former Twig students. Pinkett earned a role on comedian Bill Cosby's NBC television sitcom A Different World in 1991 as college freshman Lena James. The role on A Different World proved to be a pivotal career break. Pinkett joined the cast in its fourth season when it was already a hit show and stayed on the show until its final season. She appeared in 36 episodes of the show and was able to capture the audience with her impeccable character. She met Will Smith in 1994 on the set of Smith's television show, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, when she auditioned for the role of his character's girlfriend, Lisa Wilkes. They have been together for 27 years and are blessed with two children in their marriage. Jaden Christopher Sire Smith and Willow Camille Rain Smith have been able to carve through the world of Hollywood and entertainment through the influence of their parents. Aside from being an actress, she was also invested in businesses. Pinkett Smith created her own fashion label, Maya, in 1994. The clothing line features women's t-shirts and dresses embellished with the slogan, Sister Power, sold primarily through small catalogs. Alongside her husband, she invested in real estate, where owns around 10 properties in the US. One of the most notable of these properties is approximately 25,000 square feet on 150 acres, which was purchased in 1999 for $7.5 million. But then today, the property is worth about $50 million. million to $70 million. This is located at Calabasas Estate, California. This massive estate includes a main house with a recording studio, a meditation room, a lake, a basketball court, a tennis court, and multiple guest houses. The architectural style is influenced by various cultures with a focus on Moroccan, Persian, Spanish, and Southwest American designs. The estate is one of their most famous properties and has been featured in architectural magazines. The Smiths own a property in the Hidden Hills neighborhood, which is a star-studded, gated community in California, known for being home to many celebrities. Hidden Hills is located in the western part of the San Fernando Valley, near Calabasas. The community is highly exclusive, offering privacy and luxury, with large estates, sprawling grounds, 
and high-end amenities. It has attracted many high-profile residents over the years, including various musicians, actors, and other celebrities. With such a great investment in real estate, they have been able to provide such a good life for their children. Willow Smith is able to stay in a four-bedroom in Malibu Hillside, which was purchased for a little over $3 million. This is a well-furnished apartment with a great view, which helps to give her inspiration as a music artist. Also, Jaden Smith stays in one of the apartments in the Hillside, which was bought in 2003 for $3.4 million. This property catering to Jaden's taste provides a unique blend of modern designs suiting his lifestyle. The Smith family owns a vacation home in Park City, Utah, which is known as a luxurious mountain retreat. Park City is famous for its ski resorts, outdoor activities, and stunning natural beauty, making it a popular location for celebrity getaways. The Smith's Park City home is designed to serve as an escape from their busy lives in Los Angeles. Number five, Serena Williams. Serena Williams, a giant in the sports industry, is widely regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. She dominated the world rankings, holding the number one spot for a remarkable 319 weeks, including a record-breaking 186 consecutive weeks. Serena also finished five seasons as the year-end top player, solidifying her legendary status in the world of tennis. She holds the record for the most Grand Slam women's singles titles, with 23 victories, both in the open era and overall. Serena is also the first player to achieve a career Golden Slam in both doubles and singles. As of 2024, Serena Williams' net worth is estimated to be around $300 million. Her wealth is a result of her successful tennis career, endorsements, business ventures, and investments. Her real estate investments include a luxurious Miami Beach condo located in Miami Beach, Florida. This high-end condominium is renowned for its breathtaking ocean views, modern design, and upscale amenities. The condo boasts spacious interiors, high-end finishes, and offers access to building features such as a pool, fitness center, and concierge services. It is estimated to be worth around $4.5 million. Williams won four Olympic gold medals, three in women's doubles, an all-time joint record in tennis, shared with her sister. The duo are the only women in the open era to win Olympic gold in both singles and doubles. They both stayed in a luxury home in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. This property was notable for its size, privacy, and proximity to tennis facilities, making it an ideal location for the Williams sisters during their tennis careers. The estate included a large, modern home with multiple bedrooms and bathrooms, a spacious kitchen, a home theater, and extensive outdoor areas. It featured a large swimming pool, a tennis court, and well-manicured gardens. The property was designed to offer both luxury and functionality, catering to the needs of professional athletes who require both relaxation and training spaces. The apartment, originally valued at around $10 million, was sold in 2021 for approximately $2,713,389. Serena Williams also owns a property in Beverly Hills, California, which includes a large modern mansion. This home features extensive amenities, including a spacious interior with multiple bedrooms and bathrooms, a gourmet kitchen, a home theater, and a luxurious outdoor area with a swimming pool and landscaped gardens. When Serena purchased this property, it was valued at around $6.6 .6 million. Notably, the mansion includes a walk-in wine cellar and a stylish bar area in the kitchen section. Number four, Emma Greta. Another prominent black woman with the means to acquire any home she desires is Emma Gred. Born on September 23, 1982, Gred is the CEO and co-founder of the denim company Good American, a founding partner of Skims, and a co-founder of Safely. With an estimated net worth exceeding $320 million, she holds an 8% stake in Skims, a 23% stake in Good American, and a 22% stake in Safely. Her career gained significant attention through her collaborations with the Kardashians. Around 2015, Greed presented an idea for a denim company to Kris Jenner, whom she met during Paris Fashion Week, and expressed her interest in partnering with Jenner's daughter, Khloe Kardashian. Emma Greta 
and Khloe Kardashian launched Good American in 2016, focusing on women's clothing with an emphasis on size, inclusivity, and body positivity, with Greed serving as CEO. The company made headlines by selling $1 million worth of denim merchandise on its opening day. Greed's proposal for a denim brand came to life after she pitched the idea to Kris Jenner during Paris Fashion Week in 2015, aiming to collaborate with Jenner's daughter, Khloe Kardashian. Greed's property features a mid-century modern design, known for its clean lines, open spaces, and seamless integration of indoor and outdoor living areas. The house includes outdoor spaces like decks and patios, ideal for relaxation and entertaining, and often boasts a swimming pool to complement Malibu's favorable climate. The interior is furnished with modern and minimalist decor, emphasizing comfort and style with high-quality finishes. Over the past 60 years, this property has been owned by notable figures, including Brad Pitt and the couple Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. This ambiance in Greg's Malibu home is further enriched by a captivating Malik Sidibe photograph adorning one of the kitchen walls, adding a touch of cultural intrigue to the culinary setting. The kitchen is a masterpiece of modern design and functionality, with countertops crafted from ombre marble, exuding luxury and sophistication. At the same time, the antique rugs add warmth and character to the room. Adjacent to the sleeping area, a cozy sitting area beckons with inviting charm. An antique Japanese boro patchwork, steeped in history and character, graces the wall behind the sofa, a luxurious centerpiece. Nestled beside it, a table exudes timeless elegance, complemented by a black leather vanity chair for added mid-century modern sophistication. A stacked stone cocktail table adds a rustic touch, grounding the space with its natural beauty. It's good to say that this apartment replicates the beauty of mid-century life. Number three. Wendy Applebaum. For wine enthusiasts, the name Wendy Appelbaum might be familiar. Wendy Donna Appelbaum is a prominent South African entrepreneur, renowned as the owner and chairman of De Morganzon Wine Estate in Stellenbosch. With a net worth estimated at approximately $235.3 million, she ranks among the wealthiest women in South Africa and is also one of the richest individuals in the country. This considerable wealth allows her the flexibility to choose her dream home. In 2003, Applebaum and her family acquired the historic De Grendel Wine Estate, located near Cape Town. Known for its high-quality wines, the estate spans about 224 acres and features a unique environment where wildflowers grow among the vines. Applebaum played a crucial role in revitalizing the estate, investing in modernizing facilities, improving vineyard management, and enhancing winemaking processes. Under her leadership, de Grendel gained acclaim for its premium wines, with the first release under her ownership occurring in 2005. This initial collection featured varietals such as Sauvignon Blanc, which quickly garnered recognition for its exceptional quality and distinctive character. Her mansion, situated at the heart of de Grendel wine estate, is a testament to her refined taste and the estate's high standards. The home showcases a classic and sophisticated style, harmoniously blending with the estate's picturesque surroundings. It combines elements of traditional Cape Dutch architecture with contemporary design influences. The interior is elegantly appointed, featuring high-end finishes and materials. Highlights include polished wooden floors, luxurious fabrics, and tasteful artwork, all contributing to an atmosphere of comfort and refinement. The mansion is surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens, a swimming pool, and outdoor seating areas, all designed to make the most of the estate's natural beauty and offer stunning views of the vineyards and surrounding landscape. Uniquely, the property is designed with privacy and security in mind, equipped with advanced security systems and located within the secure grounds of the de Grendel estate. Number two, Folorunsho Alakija. Here is another woman from the African part of the world, Folorunsho Alakija, who is currently the group managing director of the Rose of Sharon Group and also serves as executive vice chairman of FAMFA Oil Limited. Forbes has listed Alakija among the world's 100 most powerful women and has been ranked as the richest woman in Africa. She has an estimated net worth of approximately $1.1 billion. Alakija is one of the wealthiest women in Africa, primarily due to her interests in oil, fashion, and real estate. 
Her fortune is largely derived from her ownership in Famfa Oil, a Nigerian oil exploration company, and her luxury fashion brand, Supreme Stitches. She has made significant real estate investments that reflect her status and business acumen. Her portfolio includes a range of properties that underscore her interest in luxury, prime locations, and high-value assets. Her properties cut across Lagos, London, and New York. Her most expensive mansion is located in Lagos, which costs $700 million. This mansion is a marvel of modern architecture and design standing tall in Ikoi, Lagos. The interior design is made up of stone, copper, and glass. The mansion boasts 12 bathrooms and 25 bedrooms. One of its standout features is the Grand Ballroom, an impressive space ideal for hosting high-profile events. The house also includes a fully equipped gym and a luxurious pool area designed for ultimate relaxation and comfort. Additionally, the mansion features a helipad on its rooftop, allowing Alakia and her guests to arrive conveniently, avoiding the busy traffic of Lagos. Alakia is also known for her luxurious apartment in Hyde Park, London, a location renowned for its prestige and exclusivity. This residence is characterized by its grandeur, merging classical and contemporary design elements. The exterior of the mansion features stately columns, expansive windows, and a meticulously landscaped garden. Inside, the apartment is adorned with high-end furnishings, custom art pieces, and cutting-edge amenities. Additionally, Alakija has invested in upscale properties in Dubai, further reflecting her engagement with the city's lavish real estate market. Number 1. Tyra Banks Tyra Banks, born in Inglewood, California, began her modeling career at the age of 15. She made history as the first black American woman to grace the covers of GQ and the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, appearing three times. As one of the few black models to achieve supermodel status, Banks became a Victoria's secret angel from 1997 to 2005 and was among the top earning models in the world by the early 2000s. Expanding her career beyond modeling, Tyra ventured into television and film. Her TV career began with a role in the fourth season of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where she played Jackie Ames, a friend of the lead character, Will Smith. Banks founded her production company, initially named Ty Ty Baby Productions, and later rebranded as Bankable Productions. The company produced The Tyra Banks Show, America's Next Top Model, and the 2008 film The Clique. Banks served as the executive producer and also presented and judged America's Next Top Model. Additionally, she hosted The Tyra Banks Show, a daytime talk show aimed at younger women, which aired from September 12, 2005 to May 28, 2010. Through her diverse career achievements, Tyra Banks has amassed an estimated net worth of $90 million as of 2024. While specific details about all her real estate investments are not always publicly available, it is known that Tyra Banks has leveraged her wealth to build a diverse property portfolio. In 2004, she acquired a 5,740-square-foot property in Beverly Hills for over $3 million. She listed this property for sale in 2015 at $7.7 .7 million and eventually sold it in 2016 for $6.33 million. Tyra also owns a 7,000-square-foot duplex in Manhattan, which includes a salon, gym, and an exquisite mirrored dressing room. In 2009, she purchased the Battery Park City duplex, consisting of four apartments for $10.13 million. As a business mogul, she rented out this property starting in March 2015 at $50,000 per month. In February 2018, Tyra acquired another home in Pacific Palisades for $66.99 million. She later sold this property in December 2021 for $7.895 million. These real estate ventures highlight her successful career and her strategic approach to expanding her assets. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video.